Often the arts can be moved sideways by some schools to their detriment uh, because the fact is the arts enriches life. You have to get over the whole we're fighting to get an examination pass and remember actually what you're working with are human beings who are going to become adults and they will need rich lives. One of the things that we're missing out on in the way that the schools are approaching their curriculums is this hands-on experience. Children develop quicker by handling and touching and manipulating things. And as we move very much to a screen-based education, then 5, 10, 15 years from now, we have a societal problem. So the CPD for this project, um, it was over quite a number of weeks. Um, so over those weeks, we did quite a range of different um, skills and techniques. Um, some of which I knew already because um, I have got a, a long-standing interest in clay, in clay and ceramics. Um, but there was a lot of uh, new techniques that I learned whilst I was on the, on the course. Being um, back in the ceramics environment with all these incredible facilities, we were just so excited. We were like, this is what it's about. We haven't actually had any CPD to do with, with, with skills, developing skills. So this is the first time that I feel like I've actually developed a skill which I could use within the curriculum to enhance it. Throughout the workshops, Teachers have used very state-of-the-art equipment and technology and we've tried our best to show teachers how they can translate these workshops and activities into the classroom settings. So how they can build their own print tables, how they can build their own screen exposure units. The way this project was uh, structured, it, it allowed the students to, to have more freedom to, to make mistakes and if, if they do make a mistake that can be incorporated into their work. For art there's no right or wrong answer so you can make your own decisions but for subjects such as like math, science there's always one straight answer. It's all about creativity so if you can make all those unique shapes and everything it tells a story about yourself. It's quite inspiring when you work with young people and just people that are new to the subject to to teach someone a skill and then see the way they respond to it. You always see people working with it in a different way, I guess. The project has highlighted the craft process and how it makes it, uh, people slow down. That tactile working with materials, cutting, changing, placing, um, has made them have to make judgments a lot more about their work. Some people who normally would have been quite skillful have actually ended up with quite unpredictable results. They've had to change their mindset and look again and see a value in what they've produced. It is really important that the pupils are not just focused on their schoolwork, they're thinking about what's going to happen after school. The students, not just with art, but with, with, with most, most subjects, they see those subjects in terms of their teachers and for them to have the opportunity to work with artists and professionals and people who work in the industry, it gets them to see that um, actually this can lead to a, to a job. We've had other staff involved in the project. I mean, I'm thinking particularly of the science department. It's always really nice to see sort of cross-curricular links. I think it's really important that kids see that when they're learning something, it's not in isolation, it's related to the real world. Before the programme, we had good potential to deliver certain aspects of art and craft. The capacity has obviously increased because now we have equipment that we, one, wouldn't have thought of buying because we weren't, wouldn't be too sure how to use it. Uh, two, obviously it's expensive equipment. But now, I mean, you know, we can quickly help children to raise skill levels and to produce something of beauty. And I think that is an immeasurable plus for us.